And from unit two, we're gonna start from uh, team A. Are you ready? Hello, uh, we are uh, Team A in Unit 2. Uh, our topic is how to keep social connections during the social distancing. Uh, recently, many events and festivals are canceled due to COVID-19 pandemics, and it affects our local economies. Also, according to research, 47.5% uh, 47, 47 of Korean got depression and anxiety uh, because the disease this is uh, last much longer than our expectation. In this situation, uh, there are some movement to promote social interaction as an alternative for this problem. So uh, our research question is how to keep social connections during the social distancing uh, over to overcome Korean's corona flu. Our site is located located in a mountain area, including Hapjong Station, Mapo. Mapogu office station and Mao station and Mao Hunger Park. This area is well known for uh, Mangnidan Hill and Mao Market. To understand the site's characteristics, uh, we analyze, uh, analyze our site as many as possible. Uh, this centrally, uh, concept of centrality uh, explains the hierarchy of the nodes or edges within the network. The concept of accessibility explains the both activity patterns in space and the connection between the activities. Uh, it, consists, it consists of reach and gravity and a half model. Uh, to figure out the demographic, demographics in, in this area, we also analyzed um, the number of households and residents of different age groups using open government data. Our main index is betweenness uh, to measure the centrality. Uh, the betweenness index is the total number of the short heat paths at the target location divided by the total number of the short heat paths uh, that e exist between the two nodes of the given radius. We build the several betweenness models using NNA toolbox. Uh, to validate the correlation uh, between the real data and betweenness index, between this model, we conduct the on-site survey in the last Sunday. We counted the pedestrians and bicycles for 15 minutes on each 46 spots. Uh, the count time is from the 2.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the weekend. The spots are decided based on the upper and lower 10% 10 10 of the between this value. After the survey, uh, we compile the data and analyze the correlation between the betweenness value and real data using the Spearman's rank tool. Our, our square value was over the 70% and it means it's re reliable to use as the prediction model. And then we got the linear regression model to estimate the pedestrian and bicycle flow. Uh, this is the result of our estimation we found that they are quite different from the real data. Uh, especially, the results showed that there are low flow uh, in the Mangnidan Gill and Mangon Market. It is very helpless in, in this area. Uh, this is because we exclude, excluded the, some outliers which contain the local characteristics. Uh, it's the same as vehicle flow. We analyze uh, the outlier, the outliers we excluded. Uh, it shows that we need to consider the additional information about the local characteristics to develop the realist between this model. Um, we collect an image about the pedestrian flow information at government website. In this central image here, uh, the lines consist of five colored lines. Red lines means the high pedestrian flows and blue lines means low pedestrian flow. In Grasshopper, uh, we identify the RGB value of the image and convert it 
into pedestrian flow index and consider that as a weight, weight value for the fitness model. This is the after apply rate model. Uh, to make the catalog uh, of the street ty typology in, in the, our site, we selected the several streets based on the place we conducted on-site survey. We analyzed the streets based on the several characteristics such as the, the number of interactions, the number of interaction and load width and pedestrian passage and the number of floors and so on. Uh, we categorize the street by the number of ways and uh, road width. Uh, and we designed the street typology to keep the social distancing six feet rule. And there we, uh, we use the, uh, we change the pavement or we build the additional structures or we also redesign the space. This is our catalog of street typology. Uh, to propose a specific guidelines, uh, we selected uh, three streets uh, for a specific design based on our outliers, where pedestrian flow is much lower than compared to network relationship. Here is the three spots. Uh, these are our design suggestions. Uh, A street is the 1A and 20, 20 width, a road width, and it, the program is a retail. We changed the, some uh, road pay, pavement, and in the B street uh, is the three-way street, and uh, the road width is zero to five meters. Uh, the program is residence. Also, we at the wall we change some pavement and make build the benches to keep uh, to make the social interactions. At the four. At the C Street, uh, we it is the four ways, and the road width is five to ten meters. Also, we change some, we design the space to uh, social distancing and social uh, interaction. Uh, also, our proposal can attract people uh, on frequented streets. It would make the mountain place and avoid the overpopulation on specific streets, such as Mangnitan Hill and Mangnitan Market. Uh, it keeps both of us social distancing and interaction. Thank you. Thank you. Can I ask just maybe you can recap what is the um, uh, main maybe main goal? Or, yeah. So before and after. Uh, our main goal is here how to keep the social connections and during the social distancing in this area. Uh, but we found that there are. Uh, overpopulation in this area, uh, particularly in this Mangnida Kill and Mangon uh, Market. So uh, we we built, we designed a specific area to to disperse the people to to avoid the overpopulation. A uh, more specific, uh, we design designed the uh, alternative. Uh, this is based on. This, uh, this proposal is based on the social distancing and, and social interaction program. Yeah, maybe I just uh, <laughs> briefly uh, explain about the project, maybe. Like, <clears throat> yeah, as I understand, students did a lot of work to do, so maybe it's hard to explain everything uh, in um, 10 minutes, maybe. Uh, like in general idea is that uh, based on the betweenness analysis, which is about the reflect the realistic uh, um, the pedestrian flows in the city. So uh, can you just uh, go back to the slide just before this? 
the you you the ranking analysis pages maybe yeah here right here uh, yeah as you can see here actually students do the like on-site survey and at the same time computing the the uh, analysis about the actual pedestrian flow um, the density so which is called about the between this analysis so here students marking out that the orange color means that the, the higher uh, the pedestrian flow on site and blue means that the computing uh, kind of result is a higher uh, computing result uh, saying that uh, higher uh, pedestrian flows uh, in those areas. So actually the, the, their kind of uh, design site is this, uh, the red uh, colored area which they focus on. So actually, even though while we are doing the computing analysis, those areas are relatively not very high pedestrian flows, but in reality, uh, there was a lot of kind of pedestrian flows here. So, um, so what we are doing is that students do the like before and after analysis. So their stage is kind of in between. Students done a lot of like uh, analysis based on the kind of just the computing analysis and also on-site analysis. So what they are doing now is that they are doing some kind of like interpretation depends on the different type of street, for example, different width or different kind of connect, different number of connections, for example, like uh, two-way street or like uh, like four kind of way streets like like this. So students develop on the kind of this kind of different type of uh, catalogs for those areas and then start to do kind of design intervention. And then after that, once they complete it, uh, students will do the uh, another uh, network analysis and then um, students will compare between the intervention and then after the intervention. So I, as I understand, they are kind of under the progress. So they are just began to do kind of some uh, design intervention for their selected side and uh, develop their design ideas. And next step will be based on their design intervention. They will do the net, uh, network analysis again, and then they will compare. So, uh, hopefully my explanation yeah. helps yeah helps you and yeah. yeah if you have any questions just to bring up here that right thank you yeah. for the explanation and yeah, i'm yeah. just question about the student what is the relationship between the flowers flows and between this i'm just wondering I, because i don't understand well so i'm just questioning about high density of a flow what is the, Relationship between flowers and between this. Uh -oh. uh, yeah. uh, between this uh, means the uh, a and means the uh, yeah. There, it, I, it, it's kind of possibility of the of the how uh, how it is this target location have a lot of short path through the, this this target location. So, uh, if the between is so high, uh, it means the there is high possibility to people uh, people go through this path. So is it have a relation correlation with, with the flow. Okay. Thank you. So I think the between this means the lot of the overlapping the shortest passes between the two nodes, right? Yeah, and but I think even though there are some, there are like in some the several the pathway between two nodes. I think there are some the other factors 
to determine the place, the path where people want to use. Yeah. So I think if you consider like this factor, is it, this project gonna be more the interesting? And the interesting point in your project is the comparison between the diesel one and the and in person survey. So I think yeah, the you, the thing you find like the, the the outlier is quite interesting. And then I I you might be able to find some the things what make what what features make the data different differently in the digital and the persons the in person survey I think you could probably find some the reason to figure out the, what the other factors have an impact on when they figuring out the the, the pathway where people want to go or not. Yeah. And I think, yeah, this uh, series is quite interesting for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have a, a very different topic, um, but I, I, I think your presentation was really good. Uh, sorry, I don't, I don't get exactly like every single element of your research, but I think it's uh, produced uh, very well with all the diagrams and everything, and very clear. Uh, just need to be a little bit down uh, to the terms that we can, everybody can generally understand instead of being very technical. And I think just treat us as uh, somebody really doesn't know anything, you know? And I'm really curious about how your on-site survey was going and I would really love to see some videos and photos of you counting people. Maybe like even just like 10 seconds to 30 seconds of how at, at, at one sample node, for example, like sample node of 24, uh, I was standing there for this, this minute and I was counting this, but very visually with video and with your photo because you were there. It's a shame that you don't show any photos of yourself because I think that is a very good uh, contents out of this workshop as well from, from our point of view, because uh, we actually went to the site and did site survey in coronavirus <laughs> period, you know, like it's something, it's really valuable. So I do suggest you to include that. Um, and I think there are uh, lots of terms and diagrams there, they're great. Uh, maybe just, uh, just help us a little bit, uh, maybe as a conclusive, more diagrammatic or more visual idea how this X area change, you know, like can be very conceptual, can be just using some colors or something, just, just more visually help us understand how you turned this uh, area to something different. Uh, and what was that goal and that if you achieved that. But I think you are saying that in your last slide, because I see some points became more bright colors, warmer colors. But to be honest, like, I don't really get what that means. Does it mean that there will be more? Uh... So actually there is a legend. So I, I asked my students to put the older legend yeah, next to the visualization. But in the legend, there's a number. And, and all the statistical simple meaning things. So I think with the legend, we are, have a better chance, better sense to understand the diagram, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also like you have to indicate which one is origin and which one is destination. So, and also I'm pretty sure that we just uh, went through all our kind of uh, meeting in Korean. So I think um, maybe for today, uh, you, I, I understand what you really want to say uh, for each pages, but I think you need to kind of uh, practice how to deliver your thoughts in English much sharper and better. So I think after this meeting, we can help out. And also, yeah, in terms of the technical term, you have to briefly explain in English uh, as well. So I think 
yeah, we can make kind of clear pinpoint for each pages and then we can develop uh, it for tomorrow's final presentation. So it'll be, yeah, helpful for you for next step. Cool. What, what I think what's going to be really helpful, at least for me, is maybe you zoom in to like one corner. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. The right, third right. eye perspective, you know, mm -hmm. like before, after. Right, right. And particularly yeah. for your research area, you just showing us like whole side, but of course we understand this, but maybe next day you just zoom in and you really detail explain about your site, about your site, like how changes like before and after. And of course it's kind of like mild change maybe, but there is changes. So um, you have to explain uh, what is exact meaning, you know, particularly for your site. So yeah, I think that's really good. Yeah, pretty to develop further, to make clear uh, for your project, yeah. Yeah, you have only one day, so maybe it's just about how to more visually express your mm -hmm. to other people and let people understand what is what what is the whole meaning of this? I'm mm -hmm. sure that there are lots of uh, ideas and proofs, and I can see from a lot of diagrams, and I hope they are proving for something that we can actually wow. Yeah, this is actually mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Shall we move on? Mm -hmm.